Hey guys, Ron here. Gonna go over the slides I put together. Um, put together eight of them, so I, I think I should explain a little bit uh, in an explainer video using Explaindio what we have here. Um, once you upload the two zip files, because there's two folders, uh, you're gonna see MHD fast logo spin, MHD slow logo spin. Fast logo means that the logo spins and then the text comes in. Slow means that the logo spins while the text shows up. I'll demonstrate that in a second. There's four in each, okay? I'll start with the uh, slow logo spin. This matches very closely what Andrea has as an example. So while I have text coming in that times with the, the spin, of course you can remove that text and use the whiteboard part of Explaindio to, to replicate what she did, which is really cool. Uh, so I'm gonna add the pack. We've got our four slides, okay? And the two here have smaller image areas with more text. The two here have bigger image areas and less text. Uh, because there's a lot of uh, the rotation that's happening, um, I don't want to mess too much with you guys resizing the images because it can throw things out of whack a little bit due to that, that rotation. Um, so I kind of made it easier here. So let me just go to image area 1 and I'll just get right to it. Um, so in a logo, okay, this spins from the drop, okay, so it's always spinning basically when it comes down, and then the, the two time out together there. The logo stops with the main text. Okay, and you can get rid of the, the background. You can throw in a background video, you can change the fonts, you know, go go nuts. What I want to warn about is that doing too much of this, okay, is going to start throwing things a little, making things a little weird. So, while you can get creative, just know that if you go too far with that, it may be a little, it may be a little weird. So I just made sure that the image sizes are good. Alright, but anyway, um... It's working pretty well. Um, you can throw in a background image as well. I don't want to waste too much time in this video. You guys are all experts if you're hanging out in that group. Uh, I'm going to go to the next slide here. Here we have basically something identical to what Andrea had. It drops, it rotates, and the text shows up. And then the, the tagline comes after. So rotate, and the text comes, and the tagline. And then of course you can just clear the text. Uh, I would clear the outline. Just create video from slide, and you can uh, add the whiteboard instead of using the, the default text that I had there. Um, let's keep moving. Try something else just for fun. Alright, here we have a uh, larger image and text. Okay, so here we can, instead of having a logo, we can have a nice image here for promotions. And you'll notice that the animation ends with the text together, both stop at the same time and done. Uh, and here we're going to do one more. bring in this bear okay so here we have a whole, whole new slide that we built just by changing a couple things uh, the fact that it is a uh, very versatile and simple slide means that you can really just use your imagination and, and go crazy with this. Okay, uh, let's go on. I'm going to get rid of all of these. I'm going to go to the fast slides. 
add animated slide from collection MHD you want to look for fast logo spin add pack okay here we basically have similar looking slides small images here bigger images here and always make sure you have you know good resolution images they just don't come out well in HD video so if you're dealing with a client just tell them hey you need a high-res uh, logo you can get it vectorized for five dollars on Fiverr uh, it just has to be done because you don't want to have uh, grainy uh, low resolution images in your videos it doesn't reflect well on you and it sure doesn't reflect well on on the client um, so here we got some happy balloons okay all of this you know you go nuts Um, and what, what do we have here so it drops and rotates from the top okay so it's rotating the minute that you see it and then after that the text shows up so that's why these are called the fast rotations because they stop and then the text comes in um, let's do something else here Okay, you can do like a audio course or a video course promo. You're taking a 2D image and it almost looks like it's a 3D object that you're spinning in real time here, which is really nice. Um, and you can put it on a black background and make the text white and you've got yourself a whole new slide. And then remember, you can just delay. Just delay the, the slide, it'll hold there forever, and there is no exit of these objects and text, so it'll just move on to the next slide, you don't have to worry about it disappearing when you don't want it to, and uh, a lot of clients that I deal with, they want to have this kind of hang to the end, they want their logo and their text to kind of sit there until the video ends and not have it, you know, fade out or disappear or or anything like that so that's the benefit here as well but if you put it in the beginning of your video or somewhere in the middle it's just as good and it'll just move on to the next slide um, if there's a huge demand for it I will of course create new versions that have endings and uh, here's the logo again what we have here is just a bigger image area and then the text shows up after the animation and you'll see that it's anim it's spinning from the, the get-go. So right from the top, it's gonna spin, stop, and the text will come in. And then we'll do one more here. Okay, here we have something like Andrea's video where it just drops and then spins. It's just a little faster. So it drops, then spins, and then the text. Anyway, uh, most of you are coming from Facebook. Just uh, you know, shoot me a message on the group or a private message if you have any questions. If you find any any issues here that I should address, uh, just let me know, and um, and we'll be in touch. All right, take care.